refreshed. Good. Now what? Now that I put mints in my mouth, you call me. Yeah. Perfect. So I'm going to be a daddy for the first time. Yeah. And one question that I have, I have a couple, but the, the main one is my spiritual journey started in my 30s. It really ramped up in my 30s. And I learned a lot about myself, about life, and it was really intense. And I had to go through a lot of lows, a lot of pain, to then come out the other side where I am today. How do I, what can I do? Is there anything I can do for my baby to shorten that <laughs> so the baby doesn't have to get to 36? to realize that a whole bunch of beliefs are not serving them anymore. Well, we know that it seems like a good idea to deprive <laughs> your child the opportunity of exposure to contrast and coming to their own conclusions about what they desire. We get how you're wanting to save them from the discomfort and to a large extent the contrast that you lived is the reason that you had powerful rockets of desire which led to the clarity that you are now enjoying and you can pass that on to others that you give birth to or that you marry or that you meet on the street you can pass that on by standing in the clarity of your alignment. You can be of benefit to anyone when you understand that you have an inner being and that your relationship with your inner being is the reason for the emotional guidance that you have and be real and demonstrate that so that your child or anyone who's watching you has the benefit of knowing how it works so that they can be more deliberate. Yes, of course, but don't get carried away with it because you're really not wanting to be the pointer or the chooser for your child. You want to be an example of someone who is exposed to life and has come to these choices and who points at those choices and lines up with those choices. And be real, if you find yourself feeling strong negative emotion, which means you're not in sync with your inner being, be real about it and say, I'm not in alignment, excuse me, I'm going to go and do whatever I can do to get myself back on track with who I really am. And when I feel better, I'll be back. And then go get on track and come back so that you are demonstrating the realness of personal guidance. We for sure, for sure, for sure would do that for anyone that we care about but we would not try to choose anything for them. You come into these experiences, you know how we were talking earlier about the momentum and how it builds? Well, there is a momentum that is building in non-physical that is the intentionality of those of you coming in. And you may not be ready to hear this, but you intended it to be as it was for you because of the clarity that happened as a result of it. And from your non-physical perspective, it wasn't a price too big to pay. It was part of the process of you coming early in your life to understand things that a lot of people never come to understand. That's true. Of course you would know that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something else? Um. You mentioned earlier, and I've heard you say this before, we come, we come into this physical body knowing all these things. And then... Not knowing all the details, but having no, a general intention. Yeah. That I'm going to be able to figure it out, and I want to do some figuring out. You mentioned at the in the opening today, we, we come in uh, knowing all these things that we know in terms of, I'm going to go, and I'm going to have contrast, and I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to point and I'm going to know, I'm going to get what I point to. And, but you're saying and then we that forget 
We'll come back to that. But you're okay. saying that what you're saying, of course, from the human perspective of knowing that there would be struggle and things for me to overcome. But the attitude of 100% of you coming in, even knowing all of that is, I am so looking forward to this opportunity to explore and decide for myself. Because not one of you does not understand coming in the power of attraction, the power of your own inner being. None of you feel like, ah, oh, really? I have to do this? Every one of you eager. And none of you saying, let's see, Good life, not so good, good life. Esther said, for months after she met us, Abraham, I'm sure I was supposed to be born in Malibu. <laughs> what went wrong? Took her a long time to get out to California. And she was sort of kidding, but she does like things that she wasn't born into. Yeah. Mm. When does our consciousness enter our physical at first breath no but in the womb no at first breath when we're out yeah at first breath <laughs> there's consciousness in every cell of your body but the consciousness that you know as you at first breath so my baby doesn't know yet that it's a physical the physical flesh blood and bone baby but there's an inner being that doesn't need a breath to know right so inner being knows inner being knows, knows you knows the plan knows what's up how do we choose our parents by your intent for life can you elaborate no one says I want an easy ride everyone says I want the greatest opportunity for the greatest expansion that I can accomplish in the time that I'm going to be in this body. That's why someone like you who's lived a lot is going to be of great benefit. Someone like you who demonstrates alignment, great benefit. Wow. Someone like you who has never been inclined to insist in your rightness. You've been an allower for a long time mm -hmm. yeah you were born that way deviated from it didn't like it and got back to it also true yeah yeah it's gonna be way fun you're gonna really really like this I'm looking forward yeah. to it yeah that's it thank you yeah. you like thinking about your decision to come into this body when you think about it can you feel the good ideaness of it can you feel the enthusiasm that you felt for it? And aren't you getting a little bit back to that even as we chew on stuff? Yeah. So a couple of months ago, I think you were talking to some guy who's from Australia, who's a motorcycle mechanic, and I just wanted his phone number. <laughs> Talk to the girls, but they won't give it to you. I know. Uh, so I guess the, the other thing I've been thinking about is um on occasion <laughs> yeah um so i work with mostly women a lot of women which is fine generally um our thoughts and prayers are with you yeah. thank you uh, sometimes they schedule things at work uh like a baby shower for example and you don't have to bring a gift if you don't want to you don't have to bring food if you don't want to but I feel really obligated to. And then I really feel uncomfortable if I speak up uh, as if I'm exerting male privilege, if you will. Or just disagreement. In other words, when you feel uncomfortable, it means that your perspective is different from your inner beings. And so you have to kind of mess around with this a little bit to figure out what the real discomfort is. Is the discomfort because you're being expected to do something that you really don't want to do? Is the discomfort, that's what you think it is, but the reason you feel uncomfortable is because your inner being doesn't hold the same perspective. So let's see if we can sort out what those perspectives might be. Your inner being doesn't push against anything for any reason. So when you do, push against anything for any reason you're right away out of sync with your inner being you've been calibrating to humans 
That's why we were playing, because women kind of demand it from everybody. They're more interested in you being interested in what they're interested in. And again, not fair to put everybody in the same basket because people are different. But your inner being likes that they're having a party and likes that they're having a good time and thinks it's wonderful if people want to go and go and thinks it's wonderful if people don't want to go and don't go. But here's what happens with so many humans that differs from inner being perspective. Go to the party and line up with it or don't go to the party and line up with that. But don't go and not line up. Don't not go and feel guilty and don't go and feel pushed around. Make a decision and just keep pointing that way. So you could say, I really like these people and I'm really glad that they're having a baby. And I really like that there are people excited about it. And I really like that there are people excited about having babies. And I don't mind that I'm not one of them. <laughs> the more you have opportunities to clarify for yourself by paying attention, by feeling yourself into alignment with your inner being, the more you will get your best attraction from everyone you meet. We're not going to say to you, they don't care if you come and go because they like you. And so of course they'd like you. And when you like somebody, it's a human thing you do. You want them to like what you like. It's like, here, taste this. No, I don't like it. No, taste it. You'll really like this. No, I've never liked that. I throw up every time I eat that. I don't want that. No, taste that. This is different. It's like people want to be validated by you liking what they like. But every time you let them be validated by going along with them, you teach them to calibrate away from their own inner being and to calibrate to other humans. You're leading them down a path that will make them onrier and onrier as times go by. And in time, you'll hear people say about you, I really like that guy. He stuck to his guns about things if they were in this audience, they would use references like, didn't seem to have split energy. Never felt like, I never felt obligated to him. In other words, just clear air. You just want to be clear air. Yeah? Yeah. Something else? No, I'm just thinking that the, the woman who's going to have the baby is someone who also is a motorcycle rider and has invited me to ride with her, so I should. It would be good to get with that. Your marbles in your bag match up with all kinds of things. When you have a really good match, never ask your bag to match perfectly with any other bag. That's not going to happen. That's how varied you all are. But how about a moment in time where you're matched up on that? Because you're so focused. You see, can you feel that the key is not to be going this way, this way, this way, this way yourself? The more you're this way, this way, this way, this way, the more you hold steady with your marbles and then you match up with others. And you have lots of fantastic relationships. Yeah, really good. Yeah. Enough? If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next